All right guys, so we are back with another top 10 products, but this time for the month of October. And I've spent a lot of time going through each of these 10 that I'm gonna cover today, made sure that they are validated. And I truly believe that these have potential to make you guys money this month. And if you guys have any questions about anything I covered today, then feel free to shoot a comment down below or you can shoot me a DM on Instagram and I'll be sure to help you out. All right guys, so product number one is the multi-use turbo jet. Now, as you can see, this is a very small and compact product but it's very, very powerful. And that's sort of the gimmick behind it. So it can blow up to 75 miles per hour of wind speed. So you can see this gif here blowing some of the soil off the ground. You can see here it's lighting up and igniting the coals if you're having a barbecue. So it's got multi-use functions. And again, this is the sort of product that's gonna be very easy to garnish attention for, especially on TikTok, because making videos with a product like this is really easy. So you can see this video, it's got an almost 200,000 likes and it's super basic. It's just showing it igniting coal and just emphasizing its power. So you can make videos like that repeatedly, showing it in different use cases and just keep posting daily on TikTok Organic. That way your marketing cost is pretty much zero. Or even so, you can you know use a video like this and run ads for it on TikTok or on Facebook. All right, guys, so in terms of margin, let's take a look. So AliExpress is selling this for approximately $57. And on this competitor site, they're selling it for $89. So the difference between the two, they're making approximately $32 per sale. Now, the cost of actually getting this from the supplier is pretty steep. $57 is quite a lot. So I've ta I take the time to go on CJ Dropshipping, Zen Drop, USA Drop, see if they have this product, see if it's cheaper, do a bit of research and see if you can find a cheaper supplier. But for the time being, the margin on this is pretty good. It's just if you could retail this for substantially lower, you're just gonna get a lot more volume in sales. And again, guys, you know I always like to hit you with some validation. So you can see here in the past month alone that this store has made $23,259 selling this product alone. And again, if you're not familiar with the software, it's shophunter.io. And if you're not using it, you're heavily missing out in the e-commerce space because when you come across other people running ads on TikTok or Facebook or even just posting organically product you can go check out their website copy the link put it in shophunter.io and that way you can actually identify whether they're genuinely making money from it all right guys so this next one is a car seat belt specifically designed for pregnant women now this one's a little different to the kind of products that i usually look for but the reason i like this is because it's something that solves a very very specific problem and i think a lot of people especially if they have a pregnant wife or they themselves are pregnant will really find this a product that is very essential for them to purchase. And if you brand it the right way, then it's gonna get a lot of attention. So just give this video a watch. I'm gonna skip to the part where it's actually being used in action, but essentially the woman in the video introduces what the product is and then shows you what it does in action. And you can see this video has gotten so much traction already. Your seat, super easy to install. You put your seatbelt through that hook, clip it in per usual, and your baby will be safe and sound. Heaven forbid you ever get into a car accident. Keep it. Super simple, but a product like this I really like. And the reason for that is the targeting of it is gonna be super simple. You know exactly who you're trying to target. So if you're running Facebook or TikTok ads, you can make sure that the targeting is you know, specifically targeting people who are pregnant. And so here's an example of a website that's selling this exact product. And again, there's nothing special about this website, guys. You can make this in a matter of a couple of hours. So scrolling down, you can see you got some GIFs showing it in action you know, with a dummy. And again, another one showing it being installed and being in, you know, used by somebody. Scrolling down some more images, some more text. And as we get down the bottom, we got some reviews, some positive reviews. So it's a very basic website. I think you can easily replicate this in a matter of a couple of hours. And if we look on Shop Hunter, they've made $7,435 in the past month alone. And look how basic their website is. So if somebody comes in, makes a nice, a more well-branded website, more professional, it's very easy to get a lot more sales than what they're achieving here. And again, with a product like this, you really wanna consider how you're going to market it before you go in and actually start selling it. Because a product like this is gonna be a lot harder to do organic TikTok videos because there's only so much creativity you can have with showing a seatbelt, a type of seatbelt in action. Unlike the, you know, turbo jet wind engine that I showed as the last product, that sort of product is going to be a lot easier to make different types of TikToks on. But a product like this, it's, it's going to be a lot more challenging. So you have to consider how you're going to actually market this. 
if you're gonna run Facebook ads or TikTok ads or what sort of ads that you wanna go for. All right guys, so let's look at the margins for this product now. So you can see here on AliExpress, this supplier, it's got really good reviews, it's gotten loads of sales and they're selling it for approximately $5. And you can see that this competitor is selling it for just under 30. So they're making about $25 margin for every single sale, which again fits within the rule of 3.5X ROAS as a minimum that I usually tell you guys. So the margin on this is actually pretty healthy. And you can also see here that they're adding upsells and volume discounts on their product page. So you can see here for an extra $10, you can get a belt extender. Again, that just increases their profitability, increases the average order value. So it's a very smart tactic to get more profit for every single customer that comes through your website. They've also got a volume discount here so that if you buy two, you get 10% off. If you buy three, you get 20% off. Again, another tactic to increase average order value. And if you're not doing that on your stores, I highly recommend you do so. All right, guys, so the next product is a push toy game. Now, I'll tell you guys exactly why I think that this product has potential. And the primary reason is that I envision the way you'd market this is that you could target specifically kids and emphasize to adults or parents that this is a toy that's gonna help the development of their child. And you guys can see how it works, it's pretty basic. When it lights up, you just press the buttons, very simple toy, but again, I just see this being marketed very well when you're targeting kids and you know emphasizing that it helps their development. And on top of that, you know, this is a product that has literally just gone viral. A lot of you guys may have come across this already. And usually when a product is right now growing in, in popularity and attention, you want to jump on the bandwagon immediately. You don't want to start selling this product three, four, five months down the line once the competition gets way too high. And again, in terms of margins, you can see here it's being sold for $1.72 on AliExpress, which is so cheap. And this website here is selling it for $13.99, which is a massive margin. I mean, I think you can get away with selling this for $15, $16. And the margin on every single sale is gonna be so good. So I really think that this is a product that is perfect for this month right now, especially considering its growth in popularity. And I think this website is just really well designed. You can scroll down. It's not too difficult to replicate this type of website, but it's got its reviews, it's got its details. It doesn't look like a cheap website. It actually looks like a nicely branded toy website, uh, niche website. So I definitely think that any of you guys can come in, design a website in a matter of a couple of hours. That's even better than this. You can angle the product to specifically, you know, promote it as something that's gonna help the development of children and target the parents for that. And I think you guys can get a lot of sales very easily with this. All right guys, so product number four is a Halloween mask. This is perfect for October because we're getting closer to Halloween. So this is something that's gonna be hot right now, but it's basically an LED smart mask that connects to your phone. And as you can see, you can basically change the type of mask that appears on the device. This really is a cool product, especially for Halloween because you can buy this one mask and you basically got loads and loads and loads and loads of different masks within one because you can just change it on your mobile to have you know the purge one or the scream one or whatever you really want. You can see here they've branded it as unlimited faces, mobile app integration, supports photo uploads. So you can even upload your own photo and put it on the mask. It's just a really cool device. And again, something like this with TikTok Organic will get you so much traction because look at all the different faces you can make. You can make so many different videos with different faces showing how it works with the app and you can make the videos really engaging and fun to watch. So in terms of margins, you can see that this website is retailing it at just under $90, which is just crazy high because on AliExpress, it's being sold for $27. So they're making approximately 63 USD for every single sale. I think you can get away with retailing to, uh, retailing this around $69.95 and still make a really good profit, take a lot more sales than this website is making right here because you'll be offering it at a cheaper price. And just looking at Shop Hunter, they've made close to $5,000 in the past month alone. And, you know, it's not even October yet. So I'm recording this just at the end of September. So you've got the whole of October to actually sell this product and get it through to them. And the shipping on this is pretty fast. You know, you can get it to them in under 12 days. So I would definitely recommend this be a product you guys test, especially now that we're approaching Halloween. And just take a look at how this website is branding the product. If we just head back over to TikTok, you can see that this video got them 70,000 plus likes. Super simple video, but pretty cool. I mean, this is something any of you guys can film at home. You can just unbox it, film it being in use, you know, being used in a dark room and then just edit it and put some music overlay onto it just to make it a cool video. And that's one organic post I can get you up to, you know, 50 to 100,000 likes. So definitely an easy one to market. 
something that's gonna appeal to a lot of people, especially on TikTok. All right guys, so product number five is the Octopus Electric Head Massager. Now, very simple product. I'll show you how it works. You just put it on your head. It's electric, it massages your scalp, connects to your phone, and you can basically set the different modes. So it's definitely a simple product, but it's something I think you can appeal to a very, very large audience because you can you know, brand it as something that relieves your stress. And I think, again, you wanna find problems and how the product is gonna solve that problem. So in this case, it's gonna be a stress reliever for people who have migraines, and you can angle your ads or your post to target or appeal to those people who have that specific problem. All right guys, so let's take a look at a competitor site that's selling this product. Now it's really obvious to me, this was made using the Debutify theme. If you guys are not familiar with that, it's a brilliant, brilliant theme to be using. It does cost a bit of money, but you can be very creative with the way you design websites using that theme. But this person who's designed this website has literally put no effort in. They've barely changed anything. They've kept the text very basic. They've just copied and pasted this from AliExpress. They're putting no effort into the imagery. They've just copied again from AliExpress. A lot of people complain that dropshipping is dead, but truthfully, it's not down to dropshipping being dead. It's down to the fact that a lot of people just don't put effort into their website. They don't put effort into their ads and they wonder why they don't get sales. But I think this is a brilliant product and I think it's been underbranded. So this store is just not the way I would brand it at all. I would you know, make a much better themed website, have better copywriting, because this is just basic, have better imagery, and just you know, brand it as something that is a stress reliever or brand it as something that is going to cure your migraines. You know, Emphasize the fact that it connects your phone and you can you know, control it from your phone, which this product page has just done none of that. So again, I do think this product is right now untapped and underbranded. I think someone can come in, make a really, really good website, branding it with a certain angle of being something that's gonna secure your migraines or it's gonna stress, you know, be a stress reliever for yourself. And I can see here they've even written hair growth. That's pretty uh, a bold angle to go with. But I mean, you can test all these different angles. And if you do it the right way and brand a really good website and do really good ads, I think this can be a winner for October. All right, guys, so product number six is a pet product. Now, what this is, it's a portable dog water bottle, which also has the ability to store food. So for pet owners who are on the go, it's easy to just take this device, have the food and water that they need to feed their pets. And again, guys, you guys know I love the pet niche because everybody who owns a pet is always willing to buy more and more things for their pet if it's gonna help their pet's you know, uh, quality of life or it's gonna just help them with ease when taking their pet out for walks or on the go. And so this is a brilliant landing page. This is a good example of a website that looks very well branded. You can scroll down, you've got a nice little GIF. Uh, you've got another GIF here showing how the product works. You can see them you know, drinking water out of the device. Scrolling down, thousands of happy customers, lots of beautiful images of pets. And this is what you want, especially if you've got a pet niche website. You wanna show lots of cute animals. It makes a massive difference in my opinion, instead of just having the product on its own in different images, different angles, you wanna show pets actually using it. It's just gonna be more enticing. It's gonna be more engaging for people that come on the website to look at photos of pets actually using the product in action. And again, scrolling down more, just loads more GIFs. We broke the internet, loads of little videos of it. See, it's just got loads of videos of the product in action which is really, really good. So it just makes it look more well-branded. It just looks like this product is exclusive to this specific website, but we know it's not. Again, they've got the reviews. This is a brilliant landing page. I think, check out this website because I would take this as inspiration on how to structure a pet's niche website. Very well done, nicely branded, very professional, has the reviews, has the gifts, has the information, doesn't look like a basic dropshipping site. I mean, these guys are doing it really well. All right, guys, so here's a video that's gone semi-viral. It's got 250,000 likes. The opening is really small. They put that tennis ball there, so you wonder what this product is. It shows, you know, it clearly stores water, and it's there on demand. You can put treats in there. You can put a poop bag in there, and there's even a poop shovel so that when your dog needs to go, you can basically pick it up and put it in one of those bags that you've got stored. So it, they've branded this as a four-in-one product, which is just Brilliant, I mean, I think a lot of pet owners would really love to have this. And again, in terms of margins, pretty healthy. It's here at $6.50. This website is selling it at just under 24. So just taking that difference, it's about $17.50 for every single sale. And again, guys, 3.x multiplier. So if it's costing 6.5, you wanna sell it at least $22.75, which in this case 
they have that room for that 3.5x multiplier, which I always advise you guys. But this is definitely a good product, especially in the pet space. I think a lot of pet owners are gonna love this. This is something that if you run an ad, even on Facebook, and you show its fun functionality in a very neat, you know, clear and concise way, I think you guys are gonna get a lot of traffic to your site and a lot of conversions, assuming that your product page is optimized for conversion. All right, guys, so product number seven is a candle warmer. Now, this one I've been seeing a lot more on, especially on TikTok. It's been getting a lot of traction. And again, when something is starting to get traction, you want to jump on it immediately before it gets saturated. But what it essentially is, it's a way to enjoy scented candles without actually having to light it up. So you can see here in this video, it's basically you just put the candle underneath the light and it heats it up, releases the scent. And it's not something that you have to actually light on fire to be able to enjoy the scent of the candle. So taking a look at this website, you can see that they branded it pretty well. They've got some nice gifts. It's a pretty simple product, but the, the reason I like it is because it's a home product that applies to everyone. I think a lot of people now love to have candles in their home and just having a different way of enjoying a scented candle without actually having to light it up is something that is pretty different and pretty interesting. And if you brand it right, I think you can get the right attention with it. And just jumping into the margins, it's $16 on AliExpress. The reviews are positive. And if we scroll up, we can see that this website is selling it for 40. So the margin is approximately, oh, no, 14 minus 16. Margin is approximately $24, which isn't that great. I mean, the only problem with this product is that the margins isn't fantastic. And that's the only issue that I would have with it. And again, this specific supplier has a really slow shipping time. So this is something, again, I'd go and check out CJ Dropshipping, USA Drop, Zen Drop. And if you don't know about the AliExpress alternatives, I do have a video for that that you can check out on my channel. But again, the challenge with this product is that you want to communicate exactly what's different about it. Because at first glance, it just looks like a light and a candle, you know, put in place. What you really need to emphasize through the marketing you do in whether it's organic or paid, you need to emphasize that this is something that's going to give out the sense of the candle without having to light it. And that's where the challenge kind of comes in with this product. It's not that self-explanatory when you see it. So that's definitely something to consider before you get into this. One. All right, guys, now product number eight is a digital measuring tape. And this one caught my eye the moment I found it because why has nobody done this before? You know, up until now we've used actual measuring tape to measure things but you can actually just use this device and measure the distance, especially around corners, and that's sort of its USP in this case. But you can see here that this video is very, very simple and it's managed to rack up just under 15,000 views. Very basic, so you can record this yourself, run it as an ad, post it organically. And again, this is something that's gonna be very popular, especially with tradesmen, so you know the kind of people that you can target, and that is the way that I would personally angle this product. But you can see here, the website here is really, really basic. As I scroll down, it's got really good pictures, but it's got no GIFs. I'd say these pictures are actually really well well done and, and very high quality. So you can actually take these images, put it on your own website, have a better theme though, a website theme. And I think you can come across as a very exclusive website that is the only place to buy the product. And again, the color scheme, I'd kind of try and match the, the product, have something dark as the background. But I think the images that are available for this product are brilliant that you can use and leverage. I'd definitely include more GIFs, especially on the website. And as you scroll down, you can see they've got a bit of reviews here, but not too many. I'd add a lot more photos to the actual reviews. You want to have reviews with a lot of photos. They make a massive difference to your conversion. And again, pretty basic landing page, but pretty cool product. So again, you want to think about how you want to market this. A video like this is so easy to make and you can just keep posting it. You know, you can see here, this one got under 15,000 likes. If you just post similar sort of content to that on TikTok organic, I think you'll get a lot of traction and I think you'll get a lot of site visitors. All right, so in terms of margins, you can see that AliExpress is selling it for $14.44. And if we just head over to the website, you can see they're selling it for 25 GBP, which comes to approximately $30. So that's about a $15, $16 margin for every single sale, which isn't that healthy. I would wanna retail this at substantially higher. I'd look at $39.99, $49.99. But again, you need to have a really good quality website if you're gonna wanna get conversions on a product for that sort of price range and some good ads to drive some healthy traffic to it. But the margin's definitely there. It, I think that this company, the way they're running their, their pricing is not that good. I think you wanna have more of a room for margin, especially if you're doing paid traffic. All right guys, so product number nine is the doorstop alarm. So this is a product that definitely caught my attention because there's many different ways to angle this and I'll give you guys a few ideas on how to do that with the marketing. But just taking a look at TikTok, this video got 320,000 likes. 
As you can see, it's a door stop, but as someone opens the door, it just sets off an alarm. So this is something that you can angle in different ways. And one of the ones that came to my mind is maybe target teenagers who want privacy in their bedroom, don't want their parents kind of storming into the room, and they can kind of put that there to make sure that if somebody tries to come in, they're kind of notified. I think that is an angle that could do really, really well. So that's just a tip for you guys off the top of my head. But this can also be something that, you know, is anti-theft, anti-burglar. You can use it in hotel rooms, apartments, where you live, just for added security and safety. And then you can angle it in a way where you sell on fear. And when I say that, I mean in terms of you don't want to be burgled, you don't want to be robbed, you don't want people coming into your house without you being notified, especially when you're sleeping. And so this is the perfect device, especially when you're staying in a place that's not your home, like a hotel, or you're going somewhere for work or you're you know visiting someone's house or whatever it is you can have this device just by your door where you're sleeping to make sure that if somebody comes in you're notified and looking at this website there's a few taxes they've done which is really good they've got buyer protection full refund if you don't receive your order and guys i highly recommend whatever you're selling you should offer a money back guarantee that's going to help your conversion rate massively you're not Amazon. Nobody really trusts you the same way as they trust eBay or Amazon because they know those platforms, they know those websites. Because your website that they've come across for the first time through your marketing channels, you want them to have added trust and having buyer protection or a money back guarantee is definitely going to do that. And here they've also got a countdown for a sale, which I've seen so many websites do. I guarantee the moment that gets to zero, the price won't change. But it's something that is used as a tactic to increase conversion rates. They've got a nice video here. Let's take a look at this. You can turn it off and on with a button. Simple, very simple product. You know how it works and it's very easy to kind of highlight how it works through a nice little TikTok video. And again, I think you can make a website on this in a matter of hours, have some nice gifts, some nice images. And on AliExpress, we can see here, it's got brilliant reviews. So that just gives me all the more incentive into believing that this is a product that has good quality, is gonna satisfy the, the buyers and is something that can perform very well, especially this month. So you can see it's being sold for $5.23 on AliExpress. This website here is selling it for $23. So that's approximately $18 in profit, uh, which isn't too bad. But again, if we check the 3.5x multiplier, they are within that kind of space. So they do have at least a 3.5x multiplier, which I always advise you guys. But I honestly think you can get away with retailing this higher. I think retailing this super cheap at 19 pounds, which is about $23, just makes the product look cheaper. I think you can get away with selling this at 39.99 with a nice website. And I think it's gonna give off more of a perceived value of like this is an electronic high quality device that you know is reliable. Because usually I found that going too cheap with tech products just makes it look like a cheap tacky product. It's just gonna be perceived that way. So sometimes actually retailing a tech product a little bit higher or an electronic product a little bit higher can actually work in your favor. All right guys, so that brings us on to our 10th and final product of the day. And that is an ab roller wheel, which has some sort of unique functionality. Now, when I saw this, I thought this was pretty cool. Now this this is a fitness product and I think with the right branding, you can do really well with this one. But if I just show you on AliExpress, I saw a few different ones that had a few different looks. So this one's very similar to the website one I just showed you, but there's also this one. And I found these types of products really interesting and quite untapped. I think this is something that can garnish good attention. And I think especially with older people that wanna do ab roller, you know, ab roll wheels, um, it will help them with elbow support. So I think you can kind of focus it on something that's gonna be very easy on the joints for people who are older that wanna do these sort of workouts. And again, here you can see that you can also add a little timer thing here. So you can see how long you've been rolling for, which is definitely an added advantage. And because it's got a double wheel, it's just a lot more secure and it moves on its own. So it's kind of a cool little fitness gadget. I definitely say it's for older kind of crowd. I myself use ab roller wheels when I do workouts. This isn't something that I would consider myself, you know, the ideal target market for. I think you can brand this as something that's for older people. So the kind of marketing angle I'll go with this, and I'd, I'd use Facebook for this, is I'd show the product and I'd show an older person sort of using it and explain that this is a perfect workout tool, especially for the older crowd. And if you want to later on scale it and start branding it, you can even, you know, have a website that has custom workouts specifically for older people that want to use this product. So I see a lot of potential for growth with this. Now, looking at this website, it says here 700 sold, and I checked on shop hunter they've made approximately 3.1k in the past month but again this is why i say i think this product is quite untapped and this is one of those ones that i go with my gut with you know some of the products i find i think with 
you know, certain marketing and certain ways of angling the product, it can perform very, very well. Um, and usually, you know, the ones that are completely untapped, if you think that they have potential and you see a marketing angle with it, definitely go for it because you might be onto something brand new and something great. And so in terms of margin, let's take a look if it's there. We've got here, this website retailing it at $50. And this is the product right here, only at $4.21. So that's a massive margin. It's almost, you know, $45 in, in profit margin. So the margin is definitely, definitely there for this product. Where the real gap and the challenge is, again, is going to be marketing it and angling it to that older crowd that want to utilize a product like this for their fitness. And there you have it, guys. Those are the top 10 products for October. Every single one of these, I really, truly believe you can make some good money in as long as you put the time and effort in. Remember, dropshipping is not dead, but it won't work if you don't put the time and effort in to designing a good website that's gonna be optimized for conversion and presenting your marketing in a very powerful, compelling manner. So be sure to focus and put in the time to make these products work for you guys. And again, guys, I'm brand new to YouTube, but I spent all my time trying to make these videos as valuable and educational for you guys. And if you have any questions about anything I've gone through, feel free to comment it down below or shoot me a DM. And I'd really appreciate it if you guys liked, comment and subscribe. It really helps me with the algorithm. So I'd really appreciate that. All the best guys, and I'll see you in the next one.